Hey everyone, welcome to another Jeb Editing video. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial as to how to script your own missions, script your own objectives, and sort of basically, uh, yeah, come up with your own mission sort of thing. This this is a fairly basic scenario. So your mission today, this scenario that I've set up, is an assassination one. So you're playing as the player down here. He's pretty well hidden in the bush. And he's going to kill these two guys here. And then he's going to get into a car and escape down here. And that'll be the mission. So the first thing you need to do is obviously designate players. So hit F2 and give the enemy player 2. The guy you want to play is player 1. Doesn't matter what, what color or what player, but as long as they're different, they always have to be different. I just go player 1, player 2 as it's easiest. And then the second thing you need to do is give everyone tags. So first of all, I'll give the enemy a tag. So select them, control T, and just tag them as enemy. Then select my player, control T, tag him as player. All right. Now what you want to do is actually start scripting. So you press F3 then F9, and this is your mission properties box, basically. So this is where any mission you design, you'll, you need to do scripting in this mission properties uh, box here. So where the helper drop-down bar is, you open that, go to tasks, expand that box, mission tasks will come up, right-click, add, and give it a new name. So I'm going to call it OB1 as an objective one. So when you create OB1 or whatever you want to call it, this will come up. These, these um, five points here. Now the description, you expand that box. This will, uh, text browser will come up here. You hit add, call it a new name. So I'll call it OB1 again. Now whatever you type here is what will come up as the objective when you start the mission. So you can, depending what your scenario is, you type whatever you want to type. But today, my scenario is kill the two enemies. Hit enter, press save, hit OK. Primary, it is a primary mission. State, hidden, because you don't want it to, to uh, come up straight away. Point and team, you can leave that out for now. I'll get into that later on. Hit OK and then you can get out of that. Now, go into F3 mode again, go down to triggers in this box here. You need to add two triggers. The first trigger will be uh, the trigger that you need to start the mission or to trigger the mission popping up basically. So I'll just call it OB1 begin. Second trigger I'll just call it OB1. So basically, in OB1 begin, this is for yeah that the actual mission to pop up, up up here where it usually does when you start any game or mission in Men of War. This thing, this text thing pops up. So to do that, go down to commands, right click, hit add, go to scene, go down to task, hit OK. Open this uh, Dropbox here, and it'll just press OB1, because that's your objective. And you want it to say Show, Understate, hit OK. Now, go into OB1, this is the actual objective itself. So you need to kill these two guys here, so you're going to require a condition, and that'll be an Entity condition. So right-click under Condition, go to Entities, Expand the box. Properties will show up here. Basically what you need to do is where it says tag, you need to select the tag of the guy, guys or guy you want to kill. So for me it's enemy. Then you where it says state, so open that drop box up and press dead. You want them to be dead. Now the count has to be equal to or greater than two. 
Now, the reason for that is because there are two enemies here that both need to die. If I pressed one, then I would just need to kill one. If there were ten enemies and I need to, needed to kill, to kill ten of them, the value would be ten and so forth. But it, today it's just two. So then after you then on that, you press OK. Now where it says commands, you hit add, go down to task again. Dropbox down here, you go to OB1, state, complete. So what that means is that once these two entities are dead, the mission will complete. Press OK. And that's it. That's it for the first objective. So I'll give that a quick playthrough now and see how we go. So F1, and then start. Got it, sir. So you just see, up here, kill the enemies. Move, move, move! There you are. And they're dead. And it completes. Alright, so that's the first objective. So now I'm going to do the second objective, which is to escape. So... So, basically with escaping objectives, you need a zone, zoning. So go over to the area in which you want to escape, which is over here. Hit F3, go to where it says zone, which is beneath your waypoint. Uh, circle of poly is far, I'll do a circle today. I'll give it a new name, call it escape, and it'll give you the circle. So you want to click where, it, where, you, where you want to escape basically. You expand it a little bit, or shrink it, it's up to you. Expand. So when your when your player kills these guys and the next the next objective pops up to escape, this is where he needs to escape. His his tag, which is player, has to come within this zone in order for the mission to complete. Okay, so with that. Now, what you want to probably do is go to Entities and go to where it says Service. Open that. Go to Pointer and give it a pointer because if someone else is playing the mission, they complete the first objective and then it says to escape. They don't. Know, they don't. They won't know where to escape. Basically, so put the pointer where you want where, where they need to escape. You also need to give the pointer a tag. So select it. Control T. Leave the tag a, tag a pointer there. Don't don't um, remove that. Uh, I'm going to give it the tag of escape or ESC, and I'll show you why in a minute. All right, we'll leave that there. Okay. Now what we need to do is go back into our mission properties because we're going to make the second objective. So F3, then F9. Go over to where it says tasks. Now, you're making a new objective, so you add again. So maybe two this time. Primary, yes. State, hidden. Point is the name of the pointer that you put where your zone is. So for me, it was ESC, remember? So... Again, when, when it pops up, you'll be able to see where to escape, you know. Team, don't worry about that. Description, expand, add, give it a name, and then write a description. So I'm just going to put escape. Enter, save, OK. And that's your objective too. OK, get out of that. So now what you need to do is go back to triggers. Now, this is where it gets a bit funny. First of all, you need to add your objectives into triggers, so OB2, OB2 start. Now, when I complete this objective here, I want objective 2 to pop up. So what I'm going to do is add an event 
into the first objective. So when it completes, that, that helper event will trigger objective two to begin. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So to, to, to get objective two to begin, you need to, first of all, go to your objective one. Go down to commands, hit add, and then go to event. Open an event. Where it says event, open that box up. Uh, just ignore that. You have to give a new name, so let's call it ob2 begin. Press OK, and then hit OK. Now go down to ob2 start, go to condition, find the event, expand the box. Now the ID, mode leave on work, ID, expand that, and it'll be ob2 begin. That's the helper event that I just created in objective one. So that's what's triggering the objective two to start, if that makes sense. But it's, yeah, it's kind of hard to explain, but yeah. So now after I do ob1, ob2 will, will trigger, more or less. So then we, we want to do the same again. Go to commands, hit add, go to scene, the bottom task, name, ob2, the state, show. So as soon as ob1's done, ob2 will show up, hit OK. Now, ob2, this is the, the actual mission objective. This is you escaping. So because I've created a zone, I need to create a, a near condition. So... Basically, my player tag has to be within that zone in order to complete the mission. So go, con go to condition, go to near, expand it. The properties will come up. Uh, units, you want to expand that box. Go to tag. I'm going to tag my player because that's the guy who I want to get to the near condition. Hit OK. Where it says near to, go to where it says zone and escape. That's the zone I created. Hit OK. Distance, high precision, don't worry about that. Press OK. Now, go to commands, scene, task, name, objective 2, and you, this time you want it to be completed because I've, I've escaped. So yeah, then hit OK. And that's it. So we'll test it out and we'll see how it goes. So kill the enemies. I got you in my scope. All right, he's dead. So the new mission objective, escape. So that's come up now. Now, with this objective uh, box here, you'll notice the binoculars next to the objective. You press that, and it goes straight to the point, so it shows you where you need to go to escape. So I'm going to put my guy into this van over here. And he's going to drive off. And when he reaches this zone, the mission will complete. Just like that. Now, if you want to end the game, let's just say, for example, I wanted to finish the game on Objective 2 after Objective 2 completes. I'll show you how to do that now. What you do is go to Triggers, where it says OB2, press that. Where it says commands, open up a new command. You want to go to scene and you want to go to game over. Press OK. Now the result of me escaping is a win. So I select win. The message is just the message that comes up in that little um, that mission complete box. I'm just going to say you have escaped. Enter, save and OK. So that will, that will pop up 
after I escape, basically. So yeah, you don't have to do that, though. That's up to you. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I mean, for a basic objective, that's as basic as it gets, pretty much. So yeah, if you have any questions or comments or whatever, just let me know. And expect, yeah, expect a few more tutorials coming in the next week or so. So until then, see you guys later.